Robinson. I'm a um, Vancouver artist. Um, and the, um, the piece that I did is embroidery. It's an embroidery of a bus stop because I used to stand at the bus all the time. I used to go to SVU and I would stand at the bus all the time in Burnaby and I would always be like, it's so nice that I can just stand here and I don't have to worry about anything. Um, and I really wanted to convey that in my piece to be able to make people look at it and feel like comfortable and feel um, a level of comfort that I felt while I was standing at the bus stop um, because that's how I feel when I'm in Burnaby. I just feel like um, somebody, anybody passing by will smile at me and I'll smile back and I know that I feel comfortable and I feel safe and I want people to look at it and also feel safe and comfortable. I think embroidery just because it takes time and like I said it feels like friendly um, and being able to spend the time with the thing and really like absorb it and take comfort in it and really like spend your time on it um, just felt like the right medium. I guess, because if I was painting or if I was drawing or something like that, it's I don't really spend the same time, the same um, level of like connection with the piece. I feel way more connection with embroidery, so I often end up doing more embroideries because it feels like something that I'm, I'm truly like putting myself into. Burnaby in general inspires me because it's, there's so many different areas of Burnaby. There's parts where they're just like small, like kind of small town vibes where you're just like walking down the street and it's just like little houses and it's really like beautiful and nice but then there's also like you almost always are able to see the mountains which I love so much and I love that there's hiking and I love that there's also like you can go shopping and you can do the different things like that but you can just walk around too and just like be like away from people. I found that growing up I really loved being able to walk down the street and not pass anybody and I find that in Burnaby I can just like be in my thoughts and I can walk down the street and I won't pass anybody and when I do pass someone I'm not worried about it like I can just smile at them and, and they'll keep walking and I'm not like concerned um, and I love that I love that it's it's a small city but it's also surrounded by mountains and surrounded by nature and I, I really feel like people more people should appreciate that because I think a lot of people forget that Burnaby is, is there and it has all of these beautiful things and it's also quiet. Like it's it's not a big bustling like crazy city. Like it's quiet and it's it's friendly and it's comforting. Um, and I want people to remember that. Well, I grew up in a small town, so I grew up in Lethbridge, Alberta, um, and I always spent a lot of time in Burnaby because it reminded me so much of Lethbridge, and I missed my hometown because it was like, it was a big city, but it wasn't a small town, and I always felt that Burnaby was like, like that. Um, so I always spent a lot of time in Burnaby, and I lived in Burnaby for a little while as well, and I, it felt like home. Um, I think I've changed a little bit. I, um, for a while, I spent some time doing more digital work, and I because it was something that was easy and I had access to, but I realized that it was just not really me. And so I found myself going back to embroidery and going back to painting and going back to more of those mixed mediums. I really am like a mixed media artist, so I have the opportunity to work with so many things, but I've found myself doing more things that I can do at home. So rather than doing like, I, I've done lots of print making work in the past, so rather than doing something like that where I have to go into a studio, I've been working on more like embroideries and more um, paintings and more digital work because it's something that I can really, I can do at home. Um, and I think that having that time to be able to really think about things and work on things and rework things um, and always pick mediums where they're easily accessible for me and maybe it's just like at home I have a certain amount of things and then I don't have to go out and get something so I, I always want to work on what I already have so yeah, I find myself spending more time on what I already have at home. It pushes me to be more creative because I I have the things that I have around me and I have to work with them and I don't really want to go out and get more things so because I have to work with what I have then I have a tendency to um, feel less restrained in a way um, and I, it feels like the opposite of what you would think but if anything I do feel less restrained because I can just like work on my things and I'm not worried about where it's going to go or what it's going to be for and I'm just I'm just working and I'm not worried about time and I'm not worried about all of these other things. It's really nice, it gives us a sense of flexibility and, and more creativity. <laughs>